Hello everyone, I'm Joshua Clement with Flighty Contractors, and today I'm going to talk to you about what's important when buying a ceiling fan. First thing you want to keep in mind is how big of a fan do you need? How big of an area are you trying to move that air through? If it's about a 12 by 12, you want to go with about a 52 inch. Smaller than that, you can get a smaller one, a little bit cheaper. When buying the ceiling fan, you want to make sure that if you need a light, it comes with a light attachment to it. Not all ceiling fans you can put a light on. You want to make sure that you can put a light on there if that's what you need. Another thing is you want to make sure that your ceiling fan width isn't going to disturb anything that's on the walls, your cabinets, stuff like that. Make sure you don't go too big with it. You can go smaller. You want to make sure that you stay in your price range. Just because a ceiling fan is more expensive doesn't mean it's that much better. You want to make sure that you pick the accurate fan for your area. This switch right here is what makes owning a ceiling fan important. This allows you to control the temperature in the house. Also cuts down on your heating and cooling bills. Through the winter, you move it one way. It allows you to move that air from the top down. All that hot air that's left up can move down reduces the heating bill because that air that's just not doing anything that's already warm gets moved down rather than heating air that's just going to push back up. During the summertime, you can move it the other way, which is counterclockwise, and it'll move that air down. Very important keeping your ceiling fan designated to the right season. That way you can control your heating and cooling cost. I'm Joshua Clint with Flighty Contractors, and we just discussed what is important when buying a ceiling fan. Thanks for watching. Good luck with this project.